dead meme. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Valheim. Today, I would like to go over with the changes to the resting buff. Basically, uh, there was a recent patch, altered the way rest state works, and I figure this is a good time to cover that and explain exactly how the rested buff works. So just in case you're unaware, the rested buff allows you to regenerate stamina much quicker. You also lose it a little bit slower. Incredibly important. So in the beginning, you can make a campfire with that campfire buff. You can sit down and begin receiving a comfort of one. That'll give you around eight minutes of rested. But that is very crude and primitive. Let's go into a building and then move on to the next step so you can see. We have the shelter buff. If you put a campfire in here, we're getting arrested at four. It is significantly better. Now, the thing with campfires, if we throw down the hearth here, and we give it some wood, we're getting even more rested. But these guys count as the same type of rested bonus. So, example, if I remove him, I'm not actually gaining any sort of benefit. But if I get close to this maypole outside, you should remove him so it doesn't contaminate. Comfort of four, right? So even with the campfire down, it doesn't matter because they basically they don't stack. Their their benefit is not useful together. All right. A big strategy that was once used was carpets. Threw it on a carpet, comfort of five. And in the past... You used to be able to throw down a whole bunch of them and receive the benefits from all of them. So I think you're getting the idea. Now we'll remove them and you'll see that comfort does not change until we've removed them all. See, so we've returned to a comfort of four. So this is the major change that occurred. You are unable to uh, receive the benefit of multiple carpets anymore. The banner is another good one, as you can see comfort increases to 5, but if we add more banners, it doesn't matter. We're not getting additional benefits. So only one banner is needed, and you will receive all the potential benefits. Now there are a couple of seasonal items, which will also give comfort, but he is not one of them. This is the one. Christmas tree is only available during certain times of the year. Shocking. And of course, it provides one comfort. If you dismantle it, you will no longer receive the benefits from it. All right, chairs. Chairs are interesting as well. So if we throw down a chair, we're receiving plus two comfort from this guy. If we throw down an additional, which is the same quality, they're not stacking. So these guys are all in the same quality bracket. This fine wood, this dark wood, the fine wood bench, and the core wood bench. And as you can see, we'll remove them, and comfort will return to its normal values. The marble bench, we didn't check him. Only one. So, there are other chairs. The next quality of chair, the raven throne. And as you can see, we got a nice comfort of eight. The stone throne. And this is the new one, the black marble throne. And as you can see, these guys are all the same. They don't um, they don't stack. They're in the same value or quality. So let's throw down these little chairs. And as you can see, it's just choosing the most powerful from the category, so we'll dismantle you guys. And now these chairs are the best quality, so now we'll dismantle them. And there you go. As you can see, there's actually another tier. We learn something new every day. Benches only provide one comfort, and chairs will override them. All right, now that we've cleaned up that mess, let's move on to tables. We've got a comfort of four. If I throw down just a simple fine wood table, we're getting an additional comfort. Let's throw it on the round table, which you receive a little bit later. 
and as you can see, they're overriding one, in, one another. The round table is slightly better. How about the heavy long table? No change. How about the black marble table? Oh, pretty much the same. So what have we learned? This table is overridden by all the others. And the other, the three later tables, they will basically just provide the same amount of comfort as opposed to this one. At this point, we only have two beds to choose from, so I'll throw down the normal bed. Gives us the comfort of one, assuming we're indoors. And we got the, what, what do they call this bed? The dragon's bed. So as you can see, the dragon's bed is higher quality than the normal one, and it's overriding all of the benefits we're gaining from this one. If we remove it, as we can see, there is no change, right? Because this bed overrides the, the smaller one. So now that that's out of the way, there are a handful of other items that maybe we should mention. This guy, the hot tub. If you throw some wood in here, and we're back, we'll throw some wood in here. And this one gives probably one of the more substantial buffs. Yeah, we're getting two out of it. So this one only provides its benefit, assuming you're feeding it. So it's similar to a campfire, right? If you're not feeding it, you're not going to be able to reap the rewards and your comfort room will be worthless without having a fire going. And the honorable mention is the maypole. So these guys, normally you can't build them. But as you can see, we're getting a plus seven because he is out there. Now there's a time of year that you're allowed to build these, similar with like the Christmas tree. So if you uh, don't move and keep your comfort station in one place and play throughout the year, you'll be able to reap the rewards. So with all of that being said, what should your comfort room look like? Or what's a good, um, a good setup? Well, very simply, you can go through your list. There are two beds, choose the best one. There are several different types of chairs, choose the best one. So in the chair category, you have a choice of three. In the table category, you also have a choice of three. And as well, in the rug category, you have a very large choice, but they are all the same regardless. So the blue jute is the highest level material available for a carpet. Along with the deer hide rug, they are identical. So rug is totally uh, aesthetic, 100%. Whichever one you want, choose that one. It's all you need. The banners are the same way. So find a banner that you like. As you can see, no matter how many of these guys have put down, they're not going to go. It's not. I'm not going to get anything greater. If available to you, make sure you build your holiday related items. Depending on the time of year, these will come in and out of availability. And of course, your hot tub. So with that, let's throw some wood into the back of it. And we'll see exactly what you can potentially expect. A comfort of 14. So we'll sit down and see exactly what that turns out to. And there we go. So 21 minutes of rested state. That's not too bad. My apologies, I forgot to mention basically the armor stand as well will provide one comfort. So we'll take that away and let it drop down. There was once a myth that you needed to have something in it, or maybe that was in the past, but my apologies. The armor stand as well will provide you a little bit of rested state, and it's definitely worth throwing down. A little bit of iron nails and some fine wood, you can definitely get a hold of that. So, uh, basically, what I'd like to say here is if there's something we missed, or something that I should have covered, or maybe could have covered better, you know, uh, throw it in the comments. Love to make the video better for anyone who happens to be watching. And of course, uh, if you found the video helpful or you liked it, uh, a like and a sub would be pretty cool. 
And uh, of course, um, hopefully I see you again real soon.